Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the Turgo. In our today's video, we will talk about solving a right triangle given the measure of the two parts. So itong video na to, ang mangyayari dito is we will solve for the missing value of kasi for example, possible na mawala yung side o yung legs ng na mismo right triangle or possible din naman nawawala yung ilan sa mga acute angles na meron ng isang right triangle. And last time, na, nakagawa na rin tayo ng video about the 6 trigonometric ratios at meron na rin tayong video ng 6 trigonometric ratios of special angles. At yung links nila ay ilalagay natin sa ating description box. Kasi yung knowledge about the 6 trigonometric ratios ay magamit natin in solving or in dealing this topic. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So yung first case na pag-uusapan natin is that given the length of the hypotenuse and the length of one leg. So in the first problem, triangle ABC is right angled at C. So we are given triangle ABC and at ang kanyang right angle is at angle C. Sabi dito, if C or side C is equal to 23 and B is equal to 17, find the following. Ito yung pinaka problem natin. We need to find angle A, angle B, and side A. So first to visualize this kind of problem, we need to draw first a right triangle ABC. So let's try it. So um, drawing right triangle ABC, we have this one. Much better kasi guys na ma-drawing natin yung right triangle para mas ma-visualize natin yung problem. And sabi dito, triangle ABC is right, is right angle that C. So we can write here your angle C. So this is, this is your A, B. Ngayon, we are given C. Angle C is equal to 23. Sabi kasi dito, given the length of your hypotenuse. Given the length of your hypotenuse and the length of your one leg. So yung, ang, yung side C natin is opposite to your angle C. So this is your C which is 23. And then your B, side B, is opposite to your angle B, so this is your B, which is 70. And then, ang pinapahanap sa atin is si angle, si side A, ito si side A, angle A, at si angle B. Yung parehas na acute angles natin. So sir, anong gagawin natin to calculate for angle A? Okay? To calculate for angle A, ito ha, uh, we will try to analyze, sir, anong gagawin natin to solve that angle. So remember, ang given sa atin ay yung dalawang sides natin, which is your hypotenuse and your uh, one of the legs. So isipin mo ngayon, anong ratio? Dito na papasok ngayon yung, yung mismong six trigonometric ratios natin. So alamin natin, alin ang pinapanap sa atin si angle A, di ba? Angle A. So, anong ratio or anong trigonometric ratio ang pwede natin gamitin to solve that? So, ako, I will use cosine. So, that is cosine A. So, bakit po cosine A? Because with regards to angle A, this is, this is your adjacent side and hypotenuse. Given si adjacent and hypotenuse. So, that will be B over C. Okay? So again, your B is your adjacent side and hypotenuse. Kaya ako gumamit ng cosine ratio. So, cosine na yung ginamit ko. So, that is cosine A is equal to your B, which is 17, over 23. And to solve that, pwede kayong gumamit ng inyong calculator. Ako, uh, I installed a calculator sa aking iPad. So, you can use your scientific calculator. Uh, try natin. So, try natin ha. So, divide mo na natin 17 by 23. 17 divided by 23. Using your scientific calculator, you can have this. You can get a 0 0.7173 cosine A is equal to 0 0.7391. Ginawa ka lang na siyang 4 decimal places. And, siyempre, ang target, ang target natin is to solve for the angle. Eh, hindi pa yung sagot natin, ha? Ang gagawin mo ngayon is to um, 
press to solve for a tayo to solve for a you need to do cosine raised to negative 1a is equal to 0 0.7391 so paano nyo ngayon gagawin yan you will press here in your calculator shift okay shift cosine again para manubas yung cosine raised to negative 1 shift cosine shift cosine 0 0.7391 so yan then equal so lalabas dito ay 42.3451 so ang gagawin natin ngayon dito since ito ay cosine a ang gagawin natin dito ay a is equal to 42.35 degrees ito ngayon yung yung value ng ating, ng ating angle a so we have here 42.35 degrees. Yan. Yan yung ating angle A. Okay? We have 42.35 degrees. Nag-2 decimal places na lang din ako sa ating, uh, sa ating angle. So next natin, next natin is yung angle B. So sir, paano natin nga solve yung angle B? Remember, um, your right triangle is equal to, the interior angles of your right triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Alam naman natin lahat yan. Pero, sa una pala, alam mo na, yung angle C mo is equal to 90 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, uh, your angle A and angle B are complementary angles. So, we can have here, sa so number 1 natin to ha. For number 2, you have um, 90 degrees is equal to angle A plus angle B. So, ang gagawin natin dito ngayon, we need to subtract. To find angle B, ang formula natin is 90 degrees minus the angle A. So, alam natin that 90 degrees minus angle A, your angle A is 42.35 degrees. So, calculating this one, your angle B is simply, solve natin, 90 degrees minus 42.35 Okay, so that will give you your angle B is equal to 47.65 degrees. Ito ngayon yung measurement ng ating angle B, which is 47.65 degrees. Okay? So yan ngayon yung sagot natin sa number 2. And for number 3, okay? For number 3, we need to so calculate for side A. Alam naman natin this one is a right, right triangle, right? So, we can use Pythagorean theorem. So, we will use Pythagorean theorem. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Kasi right triangle siya. Since meron na tayong, uh, meron na tayong ating um, hypotenuse, which is 23, that will become 23 squared is equal to your A which is missing, A squared plus your B squared which is 17 squared. And then simplify muna natin to. Ang ating 23 squared ay equal kay 529. So A squared plus your 17 squared. 17 squared is equal to 289. And your A squared is simply equal to 529 minus 289. So calculating that, 529 minus 289, that will give you 240. So 240 is equal to A squared. Para makuha mo yung A, para makuha mo yung A, kunin mo yung square root na itong dalawang to. Yung A squared. So square root of A squared and square root of 240. Yung square root of A squared is definitely A. And for the square root of 240, check natin, 240, that will give you 15.49.19, may, medyo mahaba. So, gawin natin ngayon, uh, 15.49, two decimal places lang. So, ito yung value ng A natin ngayon. You have your A as uh, 15.49. So, ito ngayon yung value ng ating A. 
0.49. So, I hope na natutu natutunan niyo yung uh, you miss my example natin wherein this is the case number one given your hypotenuse and one of the legs and we are asked to find the two acute angles and the third side of a green right triangle. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. If ever na meron kang request a topic, please comment down below. So again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!